Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am creating an embellishment for my ideas book and that is a altered Reader's Digest. Now this idea came from Tina at Ideas and Embellishments. I loved the idea. I love envelopes and I love using envelopes and when I saw Tina make this I thought it was a great idea. Now I have used my scoreboard, my envelope scoreboard to make these two envelopes and I should have a look and make sure that they fit in here, shouldn't I? Yes, just actually, so yeah. Okay, so you need two envelopes, up to you what size. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold that one over there and that's going to fit in there and then this one's going to come over there like that and I'm going to line these up as centrally and as evenly as I can. Uh, I made them on the score uh, on the envelope scoreboard this one and they're both supposed to be the same size but you can see they're not they're not actually perfectly the same a little bit out a little bit different. But that's the way it goes, I suppose. So now I've got one laying inside of the other and I've got the two flaps on the outside like this. And I'm going to attach these together at that point. Okay, so I'm going to lay those down. I'm going to try and make sure I've got this evenly placed and burnish that down like so. So when we open that out we've got that. Now Tina made hers with double sided paper which would be what I would do if I was making it for um, my journal. But because it's for my ideas book I've left it white and I can write in here all the um, things that I want to remember like whose idea it was um, I have done this one in here and I have realised that um, I've written on the back who the idea came from but I haven't written any instructions and um, but I can always go back and check because they're all um, on video so I can go back and check what's what because I've got written on there who the idea came from so I can check the YouTube channel out. Okay, so as I said, this really, in my proper journal, would be double-sided paper. Now, we're going to put some journaling cards in, or tags or whatever you like in here. So I'm just going to gather up some stuff. I have got some offcuts here that um, are not quite big enough. Um, but I'll go and gather up some stuff to make some journaling cards to go in here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got a couple of um, journaling cards mostly finished here. I have I have backed them with um, paper. They were um, ones about a 200 GSM cardstock, and the other is a um, I think it might be 80 GSM, just normal copy paper. So they've got a bit of substance to them. Um, keep them, hold their shape and make them easy to use. Now before I uh, ink around the edge of these I'm going to round the corners and um, once again if I was doing this in my uh, journal I would stitch around these as well and I would have stitched around my envelopes as well. I'll still be a bit wet with glue Okay, so this is um, a pretty simple project but I thought it was really effective um, to start off with when I saw this um, happening I'm thinking oh I don't like the look of that but when it's finished it's excellent. 
Now these papers I'm using are from my Gladioli digital kit that's over on my Kofi and my Etsy too if you're interested in having a look at that. I will put links in the description box so you can check it out if you want to. In this um, in this book I'm only doing like, I'm not having a theme or anything like that I'm just using whatever I happen to have sitting on my desk at the time so they're not going to be all matching or anything like that so how is everybody I hope you're all well and um, everything is good here um, Having a bit of a busy time at the moment uh, with family, but all's well. Okay, so those two will go in here in these pockets we've got a journaling card there and a journaling card there and that folds over like that and that folds over like that or it can be the other way around I'll probably do it that way right so now we take these and we add them to our page. So as I said, it's only just going to fit. So I think I'm going to put it on this page. But before I do that, I might cover that page with some paper. Let me grab some paper. I'm going to use a neutral page. Then that will sit on that. Yes, that's right. So let me just mark the size I need. Where's my pencil? I'm not worried. I, I don't mind if it's got a little border around the edge. So I'm going to perhaps mark that about there and about there. It's a bit hard to see that one, but hopefully it won't be out of manage. and straight Bring that down and then this mark is there so those are just put that there okay so we can ink around this if you're not an inker of course you would skip this now, I'm going to put that on there, put that on the way, yes, so let's, yeah. Okay, so some glue, you could use your glue stick if you like. I used my glue stick to stick those two papers together that I used for the journaling cards but and then I use my art glitter glue just around the edge of it to make sure that it stays stays attached to each one and push that over a bit. This lined up, and then that side will be fine. Give it a good press down. I think I need a little bit more glue under that, just there. But to make sure the edges are all nice and secure, 
Okay, now this goes on here. So I'm only going to attach it along here and along here. A row of glue along that flap and a row of glue along this area. And then position that. Yes, that's the right way up where we want it. I'm going to just drop that down a little bit from the centre and burnish that down and burnish that down. Where's my bone folder? There we go. So as you can see I could have made these envelopes a little bit sh smaller. They, have, they are a bit bigger than um, I thought they were going to be. Okay, so remember I said that you do this with double sided paper. Okay, so we've got open, open, journaling card, journaling card, and um, I'm going to make another one here. And once again, ink around the edge of that. Okay, and then this is going to go in behind there. Now that was the icing on the cake for me. So Tina's looked really nice because, as I said, she had the uh, double-sided printed paper there. So you've got lovely pattern papers everywhere. You've got journaling cards, you can put more than one journaling card in there, I've just done one so I get the idea when I'm looking through here and then that closes over, that closes over or you can do it the other way if you wish, it closes equally well either way so yeah, I thought that was quite a cute idea and um, I'm going to write on here um, who I saw it and when I saw it and what their channel name is so it was Tina uh, G U I L B E R T ideas and embellishments here and it's September 2024 okay so that way I'll remember where to look it up if I can't remember how to make it and plus it gives me the opportunity to credit the idea to Tina when I do put it in a journal okay so that's my video for today i hope you've enjoyed watching it and um, i thought it was a great idea there's so much journaling space here we've got the back of this large journaling card and you could have two or three journaling cards in each one of those envelopes all right thank you for joining me and i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have i'd love it if you would subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and if you are a subscriber, or even if you're not a subscriber, a thumbs up and a comment would be great. Okay, thanks very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.